Welcome back to PAC. It is a reality TV competition like the Amazing Race, but with a big twist. In this Amazon Prime show, 12 teams of dogs and their human companions travel the globe competing in challenges for a $500,000 prize. It is hosted by gold medalist skier Lindsey Vaughn and her dog Lucy. One of the teams competing is from Camby, Indiana. Joining me now live is Brian Calvert, the owner of Dixie the Praying Dog, a four-year-old blue tick coon hound who works with veterans. Good morning to you, Brian. Hey, Scott, how you guys doing over there? We're doing good. Uh, you know you know Angela Gannot, right? It's kind of a big deal. Yeah, we, we kind of know her. We know her family a little bit. Hi. And do you want to do a shout out with the dog? Yeah, shout out, Angela. From Dixie. Dixie says hello. And she says hello to all your nephews that that she was in the movie with. Oh, good to see you guys. Yeah, tell us about too. tell us about Dixie, therapy dog who helps veterans. And how in the world does Dixie not want to take that thing off her head? I'm just curious. Uh, she's pretty used to the goggles. I mean, they have a purpose. They keep sticks from hitting her in the eye when we're in the woods. And Dixie has her own Jeep that we use for our, for our events, our parades and funeral escorts and that type of stuff because she likes to hang that head out the window so we got to protect those eyes there you go that makes perfect sense we mentioned it her talent of praying uh how did that come about well i we started helping out in the honor flight you know they asked me to bring her out when she was ready and when she was one i was thinking of a little pose we could get because a lot of our veterans are in wheelchairs or walkers or, or what have you so I'm like, man, it'd be cool to have her pray, and you know, that'd be a good photo op. So it kind of morphed into like the downward dog a little bit. <laughs> and I'd just say, Dixie, pray, and she'll pray right next to the veteran or the little kid, and she'll pose for a picture, and I'll say, amen, and she'll pop right back up. And then I can have her sit, and I'll salute her and just say, hey, thank you, veterans, and she'll bark it out. Now, tell me about the connection with veterans. How did that all start? I just have a special place in my heart for veterans. You know, these these men and women give give their lives to our country and to to allow me to do what we just did filming the show around the world and you know um it's i just think we owe them a, a debt of gratitude it's the least i can do to train a dog to honor them and you know and just show them how special they are now speaking of special you travel to a lot of special different places what was it like especially doing all the traveling and with all the dogs and I, traveling with all these dogs and just just the logistics behind it you know we didn't really know how we were going to go up go about doing it but Amazon, we had our, they, had, they had their own airplane for us. All the dogs sat in first class. The crew sat in the back of the plane. <laughs> and that's how we traveled through these countries. And, and once we got into to, you know, the European countries, we traveled by bus and train quite a bit just because it's a little bit easier, a little bit you know, more cost effective. But it, it, was, it was top notch everywhere we went for these dogs. It was all about them and their safety and, their, and be, them being comfortable. So. Amazon had it all figured out and they did a great job taking care of us. All right, and speaking of safety, this was all filmed in case people were wondering before the pandemic, basically January to early March. Uh, can you tell us how you did? Are you not allowed to yet? Well, I don't want to give any spoilers yet. It did just drop on Friday, so I kind of want I want to give people a chance for this, you know, upcoming Thanksgiving weekend to kind of watch it with their family and 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 keep the suspense going a little bit. You know, we're getting a lot of people have watched it all the way through. A lot of people are binge watching it. And I've literally had messages from around the world, India, Mexico, all these places, you know, folks telling me how much they love Dixie and appreciate, you know, how we portrayed ourselves on the show. And, and that, that means a lot. And that, that tells me right there that the show is, you know, it's making waves. It's going to be a hit. There you go. We are out of time. But one last question. What's next for the two of you, if anything? Next for Dixie and I, we're just going to get back to, tr hopefully we can do some therapy dog events and we might get back to tracking some deer here. You know, we still got a little bit of, that, of the season left, but, you know, we are in the Mayberry Man movie and the premiere for that's going to be in May. So kind of holding out to that. But right now with the pandemic, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our activities are shut right. down. So we get a lot of relaxation in that, that we need. We're still a little beat up from the show. So, and this, this media tour we've been on is kind of, kind of tough on us too, but it's fun and, uh, we hope everybody enjoys the show. It's something to see. There you go. Looks like Dixie's already relaxing, sitting up. <laughs> you weren't kidding. She could relax anywhere at any time. Brian Calvert and Dixie, thanks for being here. We do appreciate it. Good job, by the way. Hey, thanks for having us. We appreciate it.